Hello everybody and welcome to episode 14 of UCraft. Today we are continuing on with some applied energistics. I'm going to make a couple of these ME drives because I want an MEIO port. It's almost like a old McDonald at a farm EIEIO. ME <laughs> Can't even say it. Uh, but um, this, so right now this is full and this is building up, but we're going to try to upgrade these into some higher tier drives. So, uh, can I look up oh, a storage? Yeah, there we go. Storage cells. So, we're probably not going to get up to this one, but we can definitely create a lot of these. We are going to need more Certus Quartz, pure Certus Quartz, preferably. So, let's run and see how, oh, what was that? Oh, Butterfly. Hello, Butterfly. You, you're the Certus Quartz one. Nice. Uranium filled up. I actually had to use some of that uranium. Oh, come on. Because, silly me, left my reactor going. Also, can't remember if I showed you guys down here. Uh, left my reactor running and drained out all the uranium or all the fuel that was in there. So, that wasn't good. Don't leave it running. Right now... Hello, do I get that back, please? And I can see it just sort of floating over there. So, maybe if we rub up against here, it might work. Or if we poke our head up. Oh, it's over there a little bit more. There we go. That was weird. I don't know how that happened. But, glad we found it. Throw you up there. That'll power the growth of these. Won't power the growth of those. We'll give these guys some power. Awesome. And we'll get more Certus Quartz. Cool. Uh, how are we doing for water? Half a tank. We're good. But yes, ME system. All we're missing is some logic processors, so we are working on them right now. You can see, I did put some hoppers behind here just to feed the resources in. Um, just makes it a little easier than putting them in myself. We can take a look at the 4K, nice. Throw the rest of those guys in there. We are going to need some, yeah, let's make half a stack. Throw that in there and that'll make us some calculation presses. All right, quick trip to the nether to grab some glowstone, because I need to take some of this. And I really should make glowstone seeds and just craft it myself. But if we put, no, oh, that's not how it goes. 16K storage components. There we go. We got two of them. Nice. And we should just take a bunch of this out of here much as we can hold take one of these and drop some stuff for now put all this in here and what we're gonna do is put him in there so that 
it gets transferred, all the items that are on here get transferred onto this storage cell. So let's just pull up some more of that there. And when it switches over to this side, that means it is empty. Go ahead and put as much of that back as possible. Here, I'm gonna pull this out, put a 16K in, pull that guy out, put him through the same process. He should fully fit on like that. Oh, another 16K, put that guy first, and that guy. This will just upgrade our storage. It doesn't increase the quantity of our storage, but at least we can store more of each type of item. So, I mean, recommended is maybe 4K storage cells but we're gonna go with 16. The next portion of our ME system we're gonna wanna look for is this ME controller, which we actually need Skystone for, and we need to smelt it. So I did make a compass just to find the closest meteorite to me, and it looks like it's right down here, which makes me curious to see if we'll find a meteorite that is unexplored. Hey, there we go. Sky stone, that's a good sign. We're gonna vein mine it because oh, this is a big meteorite. Um, oh, yeah, we are gonna want all of this sky stone. Let's see what's in the chest. Yeah, calculation press. So, this probably wasn't explored before, based just based on uh, the lack of entries into here. So, let's gather up all of this. All right, meteorite taken out, just like that. And fly up here. Let's see, do we have some dirt? We do have some dirt. Let's just cover that up. Cover up that, and let's go plug this other hole over here. I believe they must have just missed it, whoever dug this hole. Now that we have some sky stone, we will try to make this. Oh, and we do have enough for a couple. A couple controllers there. Nice. And these will hook up to our ME system. So we're slowly planning more here. I think if this is going to be our ME room, we're going to have our ME controllers sort of dead center. And what's nice about Applied Energistics is they come with cable covers, so we can bury this in the floor and route it over there. But also, we can use Ender I.O. in these ME and Dense ME conduits to route uh, ME and power and everything all in one. The only thing that Ender I.O. conduits won't connect to is things like the crafting terminal and interfaces like this. So import, export bus, storage bus. So you have to use a ME cable for the panels and stuff. You need to either have a glass cable, a smart cable, or just a regular covered cable. Not dense but covered cable like this. Also, if we remove the power, and this is the only thing that's providing power to this crafting table, or crafting terminal, and ME drive, you can see that this stays powered on for a while. I'm not sure exactly how long. It seems like after a little bit it'll turn off, so maybe this stores power. So I think the last major thing, looking through here, until we get into crafting, which is a whole another thing with molecular assemblers and crafting storage, crafting units, and what else? Interfaces, I think. What's required for that? Um, 
Anyways, the last big thing is an ME security terminal, which requires a 16K ME storage component. So, been doing some of this. Sort of starting to move things around. I think this is where we're going to have all of our terminals, is located up at the front here. And if we look for. 4k ah uh, gonna need more quartz as i'm sure you can see being able to automate things is definitely handy so we'll work on that in our next episode but for now we should have everything we need for an me security terminal just like that i think we can put it right there um, and we'll need this when we do wireless stuff. I think you can also store stuff securely in here. So let's see if we had anything valuable. I guess I'm just throwing conduits in here now. But let's say the gas tier. Gas tiers are valuable. Can I put them in there? No, maybe not. All right, let's make a memory card and a biometric card i've never made a biometric card invalid machine can we not put this in here well let's do oh there biometric card deposit withdraw craft Oh, well, that'll go into there. Anyways, I'm going to have to look up what this biometric card is all about. And I just rem I have remembered that this memory card is mostly used for connecting P2P tunnels. So if we want to send items or connection over long distances, we'd use a P2P tunnel. But that is going to be all for me this episode. This uh, base is coming together slowly. I have some cleaning up to do. I'm going to work on setting up automation of all this inscribing so that we don't have to worry about it in the future. I'll make sure to show you guys in the next episode or two how I've done all that. It doesn't involve hoppers, which is nice. But thanks you guys for checking this out. It's nighttime, it's raining. Must mean I'd better sleep. And I will see you guys in the next episode.